overflows. Exploring life totally is the view. Life is total. If life has to attain fruition, all aspects of life need to be fulfilled and explored. When all aspects are fulfilled, that is transformation. Sufi Sheikh Lalaji said, in the process of transformation, first the state or the state of just should be fulfilled and then work should be focused on various states of suluk or mind. Just means to absorb. But what is to be absorbed? That is essential, existential bioenergy, which needs to be generated, conserved, absorbed, and then distributed throughout the body-mind realm. For this, you need to understand the word nafs and the way it works. Nafs is an Arabic word which literally means, refers to self, the ego-centric existence. It also means breathing. Through breathing, you are connected to the cosmic book, womb or existence. An egocentric identity is created and through breathing, the process of transformation also happens. So breathing is the bridge between body-mind realm and the existence. The only difference is of direction. In man, nafs is a subtleness, is one subtle sense or Latifa from among the six subtle senses or Latayaf and according to Sufis it is located near navel. There are six senses the eyes, ears, nose, touch, skin and mind. When you understand that nafs is a ray from existence, life is transformed. The nafs in scientific sense refers to existential bioenergy. This energy remains stored at the base center. It is the source of both light and darkness, problems and bliss. Bliss requires the upward or inward movement of this life energy and misery means downward or outward movement. Human body is a vehicle to use in this life. Just as a vehicle is aggregate, some total of various parts put it put in a synergetic manner. If one particular part does not work, we have to get it repaired. In this, because the energy that allows the vehicle to move forward is based on the proper functioning of all the parts, be it steering, be it seat, be it engine, be it radiator, be it battery, be it any other if any of the part is malfunctioning, the performance of the vehicle will be affected. So too, human body is a vehicle. Body has its own regulatory forces as hormones, mainly for its survival and also for procreation and transformation. The fundamental desire in life is to keep living and to replicate. For spiritual health, life energy 
has to be generated, conserved and distributed. In the process, transformation happens. So when there is non-performance or problem in the proper functioning, you have to know the cause and rectify it. Then there is mind, which is an intelligible product of human brain, hormones and sensory organs ultimately engaged in signal activities, be they perceived as electrical or not. The mind is a higher force above our bodies, but with the same base instinct to survive and thrive. The majority of activities the mind is in majority of the activities the mind is occupied with is all to better understand the world and figure out how to survive and thrive in various circumstances and situations. Human mind and body together constitute yourself that has to undergo the process of transformation. Numerous sentient beings have a self with a basic desire to survive and thrive and procreate. Humans have it strongest of all. If left unchecked, the self manifests as ego with an unsatiable desire to thrive and dominate over our peers. Trample them if necessary and run after the world and seek to have and enjoy all it contains. This is the very basic human need. But there is another force in us, a force that actually is your soul. Human soul is not from earth. It was sent to the earth from ever for a time to occupy the body and mind and experience this life as a test. This is your consciousness. Someday our body and mind will die and will be no more. But our real being, the consciousness, our soul will emerge and will return to the existence. Greatest struggle or test in this life is to understand ego and engaged in the process to transform existential bioenergy even if does not suit our material gains. Our mind and body are not our enemy. Our mind and body is ultimately to be seen as a blessing. You are to take care of it as best as you can, but whatever you do are to do for the existence, for manifestation of existence through you the synergy, the harmony, not your ego. We are to keep ourselves healthy so that we may survive and live more and more in harmony with existence, not for the sake of running after 
the world. We are to use our mind for the benefit of fellow humans instead for nefarious desires of nafs. We are to seek education and progress, not for the sake of our own pleasure, but to live in harmony with existence. This is the difference between man and other life forms around us. Other life forms are mostly basic vehicles with instincts. What you see is what they are. But what we see in the mirror is not what we really are. We have a mirror image and what we are are two different things. Eventually, the realists will emerge out of the existential bioenergy one day. Suluk or the state of mind is traveling or wave faring. Suluk is journeying along the spiritual path of return to the source or process of transformation. It is the math methodological traveling through various states and stations under the direction of a spiritual master. The one who travels is known as seeker or the Sufi terminology is Sadiq. Remember your sexual energy is the source of your nafs and your nourishment. This energy that we know as sex is existential bioenergy. However, sex should be a rare occasion of holiday. It should not become a routine. It should not be your daily bread. It should be reserved for special occasions and functions. When you are really overflowing, when there is a new space within you, learn to understand and enjoy sex. Because this is how you can taste timelessness. If you are in a hurry, you will never feel this timelessness. It is only from the mind to sex that the lotus of samadhi can blossom. Never suppress it, never be against it, but penetrate it with great clarity and with great love. Be like explorer. Explore all corners and unknown realms of your sexuality and you will be surprised and enriched. You will benefit from it in various ways vastly. Enough for now.